color theory. Knowledge of color theory is necessary for cosmetologists and barbers to understand the law of colors, the complementary colors and how they cancel each other, the classification of professional colors and lighteners, and about non-professional colors like metallic dyes, vegetable and compound dyes. The law of color is a system that helps the cosmetologists and barbers understand the color relationship like how equal parts of blue and yellow always make green, equal parts of yellow and red always make orange, equal parts of red and blue always make violet. Primary colors are pure colors that cannot be made from a mixture of other colors. Primary colors are red, blue and yellow. Secondary colors are combinations of two primary colors. They are green, orange and violet, blue plus yellow equals green, red plus yellow equals orange, red and blue equals violet. Tertiary colors are combinations of primary and secondary colors. Tertiary colors are blue green, blue violet, red orange, yellow orange and yellow green. Complementary colors are primary and secondary colors that are positioned on the opposite side of the color wheel across from each other and they cancel or neutralize each other's color. Complementary colors are red and green, blue and orange, yellow and violet. The hair color is divided into two tones, warm and cool. Any hair color that has blue as a predominant color of any mixture makes a cool toned color. Any hair color that has red as a predominant color of any mixture makes a warm toned color. Blue color is the strongest primary color that has a cool tone. Adding blue tone colors to any hair color would make them deeper and darker. Hair color intensity refers to the deepness of the hair color and how much of the particular color pigment is presented in the hair color. For example, Dark burgundy hair color has an intense pigment of red and violet. Medium red brown color is still intense with red, but is less intense than dark burgundy color. The strawberry blonde has little amount of red compared to the previous two. In other words, 3RV is more intense than 5RB and 12RG. The higher the level, the less the pigment presence. Color level refers to the darkness or the lightness of the hair color. Level 1 being the darkest as blue-black and level 10 being the lightest as pale blonde. Non-professional colors are hair colors that are not used by hairdressers in the salon and are not compatible with professional colors that contain aniline derivative tint. Non-professional colors are natural hair colors, metallic hair colors, compound dyes. Natural hair colors are made of plant materials like vegetables, leaves, bark or flowers. They coat and darken the hair but they do not have lifting power. Examples of natural colors are henna, indigo, chamomile, black tea and the like. Metallic hair colors are non-professional colors that are also called gradual colors. They contain metallic salts made of copper, silver or lead. They coat the hair with progressive buildup. They are not comparable with aniline derivative tint and are hard to remove from the hair and have unpredictable results. Compound dyes are a combination of natural and metallic dyes. Do not work well with professional colors that contain an aniline derivative tint. Not recommended for professional use. Are hard to remove from hair, can damage the hair and would have unpredicted results. Classification of professional hair color. Non-oxidative, temporary, semi-permanent and oxidative, demi-permanent and permanent. Temporary color is a deposit only color. Only coats the hair shaft, does not alter the hair chemically, will stay in clothes and operator's hands. Temporary color is also called certified color. Temporary color is not mixed with hydrogen peroxide. The molecule of the temporary color is the largest of all professional hair colors. It sits on the cuticle layer, that's why it lasts from shampoo to shampoo. Temporary colors include hair mascara, shampoo tints, spray on hair color, color mousses and gels, color rinses. Semi-permanent color lasts from 6 to 8 shampoos, is a deposit only color, 
does not alter the hair chemically, is not mixed with hydrogen peroxide, works by staining the cuticle layer. Demi permanent hair color lasts up to 16 shampoos depending on the porosity and condition of the hair, is a deposit only color, does not lift the existing color, is the most versatile hair color that refreshes faded permanent hair working as a glaze, is used as a toner. Demi permanent color would not completely cover gray, is mixed with low volume peroxide. Most manufacturers have their own solution to be mixed with the demi permanent hair color. Works great for low lights, evens out the unwanted tones, and is good for corrective color procedures. Permanent hair color has permanent results, stays on hair until it is cut or lightened. It removes the natural pigment from the hair and deposits the new pigment to the hair. It is a lift and deposit hair color. It is mixed with hydrogen peroxide. Permanent hair color contains aniline derivative tints, ammonia and oxidative tints. Requires a PD patch test 24 to 48 hours before the color application. Penetrates the hair cortex layer. Covers gray best. Hydrogen peroxide is also called developer oxidizing agent and catalyst. Chemical formula is H2O2. Has pH between 2.3 and 4.5. Is acid on the pH scale. Varies in strength measured by volume. Peroxide volume. The lower the volume, the more the positive color, like 5 and 10 volume peroxides. The higher the volume, the more lift off color, like 30 and 40 volume peroxides. 20 volume peroxide does lift for the first 15 to 20 minutes of color development and deposits for the next 15 to 20 minutes of color development. Peroxide needs to be stored in dry, dark, cool place, away from flammable chemicals. Peroxide is used for pre-softening hair, resistant to hair color. Lighteners, also called decolorizers, remove or diffuse natural hair pigment and previously colored artificial pigment. Lighteners are mixed with hydrogen peroxide and oxidizing agent. 10 stages of decolorizing. During the hair lightening process, the hair color goes through the 10 stages of decolorization. They are dark red brown, red brown, red, red orange, orange, orange gold, gold, yellow gold, yellow, pale yellow. Underlying pigment or contributing pigment is what remains after hair lightening or decolorizing and is a base on which the hair colorists build the desired color. Hair lightening process. After the hair has been decolorized and what is left in the hair is the contributing pigment, a toner is formulated based on the desired color that will work with the underlying contributing pigment to create the final color result. Toners are deposit only colors, semi-permanent and demi-permanent hair colors that are applied on pre-lightened hair for a double process tint application to add desired tone to the pre-lightened hair, neutralize unwanted tones created after pre-lightening. Hair lightening safety. Always analyze the hair to determine if it is healthy enough for pre-lightening. Never decolorize the hair past pale yellow or white stage. Periodically check for damage and stop the process if the integrity of the hair is in jeopardy. If the hair lightener is left on hair too long, the hair will break and will not accept toner and will become mushy and brittle. Client consultation. Have a client sign a release statement. Make sure client has a PD test. Make sure that to check the client record card for any notes from previous color. Ask open-ended questions. Review the procedure, cost and maintenance. Be honest, do not promise the impossible. Be a good listener and gain approval from the client for the color. Start the hair color service. Make sure to fill out the client record card. Release statement is signed by the client to make sure that they acknowledge that if their hair is in questionable condition, the hair may not withstand the service. Release statement does not release the hairdresser from responsibility for malpractice.